Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Can you hear me, Mr. Chairman? Malino po. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Chairman of both uh, committees, Chairman Alvarez, Chairman Alvarado, distinguished colleagues, co-authors, and authors of these House bills, resource person via Zoom, good afternoon. Mr. Chairman, I choose to be silent behind the series of joint congressional committee hearings on the quest of ABS-CBN Broadcast Network to have its franchise renewed. Though a co-author of House Bill 3713 that aims to grant for the renewal of ABS-CBN franchise, for one thing I believe, I should not be biased from the start of the committee deliberations. The same is true, Mr. Chairman, as two revelations and issues brought into open by the hearings. Despite my silence since day one, Mr. Chairman, I have been closely monitoring the proceedings, inquiries, discussions, the pros and cons, especially from the resource persons. The exchanges between the executives and legal councils of the biggest media network in the country and from my distinguished colleagues and those with supporting as well as opposing stand on the matters at hand have unearthed a lot of things. Everything was an eye opener, not only for the house, but also for the general public. Mr. Chairman, in my several years in the house, I had been consistent in my stand on pressing issues no matter whether I was bashed or praised on multiple platforms, I stood my ground in advancing one, what I perceived to be necessary and vital. To drive my point, Mr. Chairman, allow me to cite examples of controversial bills in the House in my more than six years as member of this hey. When the death penalty bill, Mr. Chairman, was voted upon, I firmly stood on my opposition to it. I voted no because I believe it is not a deterrent against illegal drugs and crimes. To the point that I have even let go membership in the majority of all my committee memberships and vice chairmanship during the 17th Congress in my opposition to the death penalty resurrection. Subsequently, moves to, the, to revive the death penalty bill to gain steam in the 17th Congress, while the House swiftly passed the bill in March 2017, minus, of course, my vote. Its counterpart measure remained in the Senate until the last session day. I remained st steadfast on my stand against it. When I supported the train law, Mr. Chairman, I also stress that the law will guarantee that a portion of the revenue from sugar sweetened beverages be passed to the sugar industry. Coming from the sugar producing region in the country, I had to stand for the interest of the industry dog that redounds to my region. If not for the compromise amendment, I might have voted the other way. Thanks to former Majority for Leader Rodi Parinas and to former Speaker Pantaleon Alvarez. When the anti-terror bill was voted upon Mr. Chenan, I voted a resounding yes because I believe in the objectives and the boost the law can give the Filipino people and the whole country in general. Despite of the lobbying, the intense social media propaganda and pressure of course, thanks to our very own, our esteemed minority pro leader, Bene Abante, for respecting and understanding my stand on the issue. This time, Mr. Chairman, I am again expressing and exercising what to me is fair in the midst of recent revelation in relation to ABS-CBN quest for a press mandate on its franchise. Although ABS-CBN has been dodging allegation of not paying the correct taxes. There seems to be an engagement 
with tax avoidance scheme by availing fiscal perks. Big Deeper Digital Content, a subsidiary of ABS-CBN that processes films and TV shows for export to other countries and to different digital platforms. It's a company registered with the PESA or Philippine Economic Zone Authority, the country's largest economic zone operator that off offers fiscal perks such as waiving of income tax payments and labor free imports to certain shipments. Big Deeper is perceived as a tax shield for the media giant. Legally, Mr. Speaker, there is nothing wrong with Big Deeper as a PESA registered company, but ABS-CBN has been funneling some of its income to Big Deeper, which gives some moral points that, is, that it is doing so to avoid paying taxes, higher taxes. Mr. Chairman, Big Deeper is a vehicle to reduce the amount of taxes ABS-CBN must pay. From 30%, ABS-CBN will only pay 5% by transferring its income, some of its income to Big Deeper, which is a systematic practice it has been employing. This is how common and unbiased Filipinos easily understand and see the connection between the creation of the Big Deeper. Mr. Chairman, the series of hearings of both back what I have also personally experienced in terms of fairness, fairness and balanced reporting and in tackling issues through the stations of EBS-CBN. It also brought back issues raised by Senior Deputy Minority Floor Leader Janet Garin, the former DOH Secretary, issues she had been repeatedly expounded in almost every hearing with the DOH. Another example, Mr. Chairman, when ABS-CBN Ted Pailon keep criticizing a colleague, a congressman whom I personally know, for whatever purpose, not renaming him, but describing him very obviously, he did not give the congressman a chance to air his side. Mr. Chairman, and recently, during the time of BCQ, sometime March or April, ABS-CBN based on a mere Facebook comment, Mr. Chairman, attack on air the quarantine policy facility, quarantine facility in my hometown, Enrique B. Magalona, the province of Negros Occidental. Again, Mr. Chairman, without first getting the facts and considering the circumstances. But that's also the time we were calling for volunteers to join us in the fight against COVID. The local government units and volunteers in my hometown were behind the setting up of our first provincial quarantine facility in the province of Negros Occidental. It is in the spirit of volunteerism in my own hometown, Mr. Chairman. ABS-CBN had been advocating voluntarism, Mr. Chairman, having one of the biggest numbers of volunteers nationwide. And yet, through biased reporting, the facility put up negates that advocacy, Mr. Chairman. In the ab above cases, that lambasting lasted for months without the network getting the side of officials, Mr. Chairman. At the 12 formal hearings on ABS-CBN renewal of its franchise by the Committee on Legislative Franchises and Good Government and Public Accountability ended with revelations behind the media network made public through it. Though, Mr. Chairman, it is hard for me, I came to a conclusion that I am withdrawing my co-authorship of House Bill number 3713 that aims to grant the renewal of the franchise of ABS-CBN. Mr. Chairman, before I end, 
I wish to ask for apology and understanding of my distinguished colleagues, Representative Joy Tambunting, the principal author of the said House Bill, and to ABS event president, Sir Carlo Katigbak, sir, and to the ABS CBN family. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Chairman. Maraming salamat po.